How's it y'all? This is now our empty hand variation of that Dojo Ministries at home training routine. So this next, this next set of workouts, it's gonna be focusing on exercises that complement our empty hand striking and kicking. Now, that being said, this is Filipino martial arts. Our empty hand techniques come from our weapons techniques. So a lot of our empty hand training that we're doing right now can also be our small weapons techniques. So for example, if you are using a knife, you can still do our jabs, uppercuts, and hooks as if you were doing it with your empty hand. If you're a fan of the Quran bit like I am, you can go ahead, practice your jab, your uppercut, and your hook as turning your strikes into thrusts and slashes. All right, so don't be afraid to mix it up if you wanna find a longer blade to work with. Or if all you have is a short stick, you can do either one. So again, stay in line with Filipino martial arts. Our empty hand striking is also our small weapon techniques as well. So I'm gonna show you some variations on that as well, as well as some foundations for our kicking in this next series of exercises. All right, let's do this. Like any good training program, you need some basic conditioning. So basics, push-ups, sit-ups, and squats. Now, I'm gonna do a few here just so you know what we're talking about. And from there, pause the video and do the exercise yourself for however many reps you wanna do them for. So again, basic routine, you're gonna do your push-ups. Make sure you keep your back straight. If you need to do them on your knees, again, back straight, hands, are either gonna be shoulder width apart or you can do wide as well. I'm gonna to stick to a standard push-up where they are shoulder width apart. Back straight, whether on your knees or on your toes, head up, gonna go down and up, down and up, down and up. Do the push-ups however you need to do the push-ups. We're not gonna tell you how to do them, just that you should do some push-ups, all right? Go ahead, pause the video, and once you've done your reps, you've done three, five, 10, 100 push-ups. Pause, do your reps, and then come back to the next exercise. All right, now we're gonna do sit-ups, or crunches. Whatever abdominal exercise you're gonna call this, all right? So, here, feet down on the ground, head, head, eyes, nose, looking towards the ceiling, arms are gonna cross here, and you're gonna sit up, and you mean to put your elbows to your knees. And up, and one, two, three, four, and five. Now, if you need to, like me, because I was struggling at the beginning, go ahead and lift your feet up, and just go right here for crunches. One, two, three, four, five. Those looked so much better. All right, now, do a sit-up or crunches, whatever abdominal exercise you wanna do for your basic conditioning, abdominal exercise, go ahead and do those. Pause the video, get your reps in, and then we'll see you on the next exercise. All right, now we're moving on to squats. From here, let's adjust this a little bit. Oh yeah. All right. Feet, shoulder width apart. Back straight. If you want to get your Kung Fu on and get your hands up here, go ahead and do that. You want your knees and your toes pointing in the same direction, whether you're pointing directly forward or off to the side. Whichever way you need to do your squats, just do some good forms squats. All right? And you're going to go down and up, down and up, down and up down and up. All right, so if you need to do three of those, do three of those. If you want to do five, 10, 100, however many reps of squats you want to do, go ahead, pause the video, do your reps, come back for the next exercise. All right, moving on. Now the exercise, actually we'll kind of keep it up here. Exercise that everyone loves and hates, burpees. Now. If you want to add burpees to the end of your push-up sit-ups and squats, you can do that. If you want to do just burpees instead of push-up sit-ups and squats, you can. If you want to do all four exercises because you're feeling it, go ahead and do that, all right? 
important thing is do what you can do. And if you want to push yourself with the burpees, go ahead and do that. Now, let's go ahead and adjust over here. Now we're here. Good burpee, right? You're standing up straight. Then go down here. Push up. Back up at that hop. Go ahead, if you want to do some burpees, or if all you want to do is burpees, go ahead and do some burpees, and I'll see you in the next exercise. All right, how's it, y'all? For this next exercise, it's not so much important that you see my face, but you see what's going on with my hips and my shoulders here. This is our hip punching exercise. This is an exercise help, meant to help you develop generating power and to teach you the building blocks for throwing a uh, proper punch, proper strike with your stick, and how to throw your whole body into it. Now, to do this, you gotta get on your toes, like so. You don't need to be up here like you're wearing high heels. Just get your heel off the ground so that you can move freely on the balls of your feet. Once you're there, get on the balls of your feet here. The motion here, there's two distinct things that you need to do. You need to be turning your hips, you need to be pulling your opposite shoulder back. So, if I am pushing my right hip forward, I need to be pulling my left shoulder back. Likewise, left hip going forward, right shoulder is going to go back. Here's how the exercise works. Hands are gonna go up. If I wanna have my sticks in my hand, I can do that as well. Or I can go empty hand in the boxing position. Once I'm here, I'm gonna aim to turn my right hip all the way over. Notice my feet naturally turn and my heel goes up, just naturally falling, moving on my body here. As I like to say in dojo ministry, I want my butt cheek to be aimed at my target when I do this. So I'm trying to aim my right butt cheek towards my camera, which is my target at the moment. This is not what Jesus meant when he said turn the other cheek, but that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're here, turn, and have that right butt cheek aimed towards you. As I do that, I'm pulling this opposite shoulder back. So I'm pulling this back, turning this forward, generating power for this right hand as it goes forward. Notice, I'm not moving this right hand at all. It's just moving as a result of my hips and my shoulders moving to generate power. And as I do that, like a whip, I just finish off the action by sending that power in a certain direction by extending my arm. So for your hip punching, fall to your feet, turning your hip, pulling back the opposite shoulder, do several reps of these here. Start with the hip, push that butt cheek, Forward. All right, awesome. Go ahead, pause the video, video, do some reps of those, and move on to the next exercise. See ya. All right, for this next series of exercises, we're gonna be covering our empty hand striking. But again, our empty hand striking can also be our small weapons work. So to show you that, I'm gonna have some small tools in your hand, in my hands here, but anything that I do with the small weapons here, can be done empty-handed. So the three strikes that we're gonna be covering here are just the basic Western style boxing, straight punch, hook, and uppercut. So with the empty hand here, straight punch, hook, uppercut. If you're striking with the fist, make sure you're aiming with these two knuckles here. One, two, three. Get that hip punching involved and also that squatting and lifting up involves for your uppercut here. Turn the hip over for that straight punch. Turn the hip over for that hook. Squat and go up. Still turning that hip for that uppercut there. Now, whether it's a small stick like this here, you can still do that. And you're changing the target of your strike on your own person or weapon from your knuckles to the point of the stick here. You can also use the back of the weapon here. Likewise, with a Karamba style weapon here, you can use the ring, or you can use the edge or whatever blade you have here. Two weapons in hand, and then you are, you're not just fighting with a knife, but you're boxing with any tool that you have. So if you know some good boxing, 
put a weapon in your hand, all of a sudden you're doing some Filipino martial arts. Or if you don't know how to box, learn how to box and do Filipino martial arts at the same time here. Straight punches, hooks, uppercuts. Watch the variations with using either the forward point or the back puño of either weapon here. Straight punch, straight punch. Hook, hook. Uppercut, uppercut. All right, go ahead and do that for a few sets. Do at least 10 of each strike with each hand. And if you want to do it just empty hand, go ahead and follow along with me now. Ready? Straight punch, hook, uppercut. Straight punch, hook, uppercut. If you want to mix it up a little bit, go ahead and mix it up. Bash! All right, guys, go ahead and pause the video, repeat as you need to, do your own reps, and I'll see you next exercise. All right, guys, our next exercise for our Dojo Ministries at home training is going to be our straight kicks and our spear knees. Now, you can do one exercise or the other or both as you wish. I'm just giving you some options here to help you build a foundation for our kicks. Now, we're only going to work on one particular style of strike, which is the straightforward leg strike. Whether it's with your foot or with your knee, that's what we're gonna be working with with this exercise here. So, first exercise we're gonna work with here, it's gonna be in a basic boxing stance, we're gonna do forward kicks. So, you karate guys, you probably know what you're doing here, along with other martial arts who know how to do this kick. We do that kick in Filipino martial arts as well. You're here, knee's gonna go up and chambered, point the foot out, Curl the toes back, hit with the ball of your foot. And you're gonna go here. Other side as well. Just like with our other techniques, we are using our hip punching uh, philosophy here. We are turning the hips over and we are pulling the shoulder back a little bit. It's not quite as much as with our arms but we are aiming to shoot our hips forward with these techniques. Now, another exercise you can do, if kicking about midsection is too much for you or it's not the proper technique, or you wanna work on your knee strikes, we have our spear knees. Now, with this knee strike, we're not aiming to go straight up with our knee strike, like so. This is a valid strike, but we're working on something different here. Our spear and knee, we're gonna bring it up and shoot it forward, getting our hips engaged and going forward with our strike. We're not going up, we're going forward. All right, so go ahead, do some reps of those strikes there, either the straight kick, or the spear knee. All right, go ahead, pause the video, get your reps in, and we'll see you the next exercise, guys. All right, hope you like looking at my feet because next exercise here, we're gonna work on our footwork for our empty hand series. Now, we already know our triangle footwork from our long weapon series, but now we're gonna add another variation of footwork, and that's gonna be our shuffling. You're gonna be in the basic boxing stance, one foot in front of the other, knees are bent. You're gonna push off your back leg and step forward with your front leg, and you're gonna shuffle forward like so. Then likewise, you're gonna push off the back leg, lift up, or push off the front leg, pick up the back leg, and shuffle back. That's your forward and back shuffle here. Then likewise, side to side. Pushing up, if I want to go to my left, I'm going to push off my right, lift up my left leg, and go to my left. Likewise, if I want to go back to center, push off the left leg, pick up my right, and go to center. Now, if I want to put them all together, go ahead, work that footwork. If you just want to go back and forth, 10 times, 
and then left and right 10 times, go ahead and do that. Or mix it up for a minute or two, just practicing your shuffling footwork, back, forth, side to side. All right, go ahead, pause the video, get your reps in, we'll see you next exercise. All right, for our empty hand series, we've already gone over this exercise in our long weapon variation, but now we're going to do the stationary Superman again here for our empty hand. That way we can work on our balance, we can practice the knee strikes and our empty hand uh, straight punch as we've already practiced on our other exercises. So we're gonna be here, so we can either be flat or in a more conventional boxing stance. Knee's gonna go up, it's gonna kick back, and at the same time, you're shooting that hand forward so you look like Superman. And so. All right, important thing to, with this exercise, keep your balance. If you can't get your knee that high, go ahead and stay down low and practice pushing off that leg and bringing it back to produce that power. All right, so do the best you can, pause the video, get your reps in, see you next exercise. All right guys, for the last bit of our empty hand training variation for our Dojo Ministries at home training, we're taking everything that we've learned, putting them all together for a bit of cardio and some shadow boxing here. So remember, you have your footwork shuffling back and forth, side to side. You have your straight punches, your uppercuts, your hooks. You have your spear knees, you have your front kicks. You have your Superman punches. For one minute, move around in the space that you got and practice those techniques. If you don't have a lot of space to work with, go ahead, just bounce, and forth, bounce back and forth right here. All right, so you don't need a lot of space, but take what space you got and practice some of your empty hand striking and kicking, all right? So follow along with me for one minute. If you wanna do what I do, go ahead and do that. If you just wanna do your own thing, rock and roll. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. Come on, he can keep going. A little bit longer. Three more seconds. Yes! <laughs> nice job. All right, good job with the training. Go ahead, rest up, come back tomorrow, do another exercise and routine with us for your at-home training. All right, warrior up, honey God, handle it. Good job, guys.